Good evening, Brian. It's Wednesday. Uh, so it is late. It is very late. It's almost 11 o'clock, I think, and uh, we just finished dinner. I basically got home, started cleaning the kitchen, and then cooking, and then eating dinner, and it's late. So I don't really have too much time for this vlog, so I'm going to try and make it quick and brief, and hopefully we'll only have a few cuts and not too many edits to make. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it. Um, you mentioned in your last video that you and Knox have signed up for a gym membership at Planet Fitness and that one of your big goals for this year, one of your resolutions, is that you want to um, be a little bit healthier with eating and work out more uh, with the general goal of being healthier and losing weight. Um, I think that's awesome. I think that's definitely something that anyone could get better at for sure. Um, I know lately with the holidays, you know, I've sort of fallen off the wagon and haven't been running as much uh, at all in the last few weeks. I've just been so busy. And with holiday plans, it seems like all of the free time that I've had has been planned for and taken up. So it's definitely not something that's unique to me. It's pretty much something that lots and lots of people experience. But around the holidays, you tend to just sort of lose the, the free time that you have to be able to put towards things like exercising and being healthy. And I have definitely not been running as much as I would like uh, at all recently. That coupled with the fact that the holidays tend to have much more heavy food and much more snacking and much more desserts and both of those things together, I feel like I've kind of pudged out a little bit in the last month or so too. So I definitely can get behind trying to lose some weight and feel healthier about things. Um, but really, I think that's awesome. Um, if you ever have any questions or need any tips or advice, you know, please let me know. One good resource that you might like to use is there's a podcast called The Get Fit Guy. Um, I would not recommend listening to everything just because he's had his show for a long, long time. So there's lots and lots and lots of episodes out. And a lot of them probably won't really... Um, apply to you directly. However, I would recommend you go through the list of episodes he has and just download um, a few here and there that seem like they would match what your goals are. So, you know, he might have podcasts that are more about like basics of how to make an exercise program that's going to be effective um, or how to lose weight quickly but safely or, you know, how to maximize the workouts you're doing so that you prioritize burning fat. Um, so there's a couple, you know, I would definitely go through and find ones that you think look like they would match most with what your goals are. But I think that could really be helpful. Um, you know, he makes a lot of good points and a lot of people don't really know how to exercise, you know. It, you have to do, be purposeful with how you're doing exercises and what kind of exercises you do and how long you do them for various goals. You know, if your goal is to build muscle, your exercises are going to look different than if your goal is to lose fat. Um, and there's also a risk of losing weight too quickly and then it makes it really easy to gain it back. So there's lots of things that, you know, it, it does well to have the research and have someone who's knowledgeable about it sort of guide you through that. So I would definitely recommend using that as a resource. Um, we've talked before on the vlog about things like MyFitnessPal and other health tracking apps that are really good at helping make sure that you're making the eating choices that you want to be making. Um, but some of the biggest things that I think have helped me in the past and that I'm going to try and implement for myself is just trying to get better about having smaller portions in general. Um, not necessarily trying to eat different foods, but just eating less of the food I'm eating. Uh, and also with that, trying to eat less of foods that are not as healthy, you know, like desserts and things like that. So those two things together, I feel like really will do a lot if you can stick to them. And they're a little bit easier to stick with and more complicated, harder things. So those are definitely good places to start. Um, I, it would be really cool if, you, you know, I don't know if you can have guests at your gym like that with your membership, but it'd be really cool if we could go someday and, you know, hang out there together or do whatever. Um, and we should look forward to signing up for a 5K soon. One of the best ways to keep yourself motivated for exercising is giving yourself a deadline. So we should look for 5Ks that are happening in two or three months from now, and you can sign up for one and have that as a goal to work towards. Uh, I hope you liked this vlog. I look forward to seeing you in Top 5 tomorrow, Brian. Have a good night.